Thank you for joining me, fellow Guardians. This is Sam from Multiverse Mission Control, and today's quest is a new vlog series which I like to call Foundations of Valhalla. For long-time viewers, this may sound a lot like other things I've done. Uh, you know by now my starry-eyed vision of gaming, which is bordering kind of on the spiritual, kind of on the psychotic. I'll let you know what I know for sure. <laughs> I was resistant to doing this for a while because I wasn't sure if I would really have a lot to say that hadn't already been said uh, more frequently and better. Uh, I mean, I only know so much about game design or history, so you might want to go check out extra credits for that, or like any of the dedicated fan channels on YouTube that actually do a lot of research. But some of the fans, a uh, long while back, asked me to start doing more vlog type things, so I, and I keep promising to do more, so at the end of the day, everyone's input is still important, right? I mean, it adds at least a little more data for the decision makers to make, and if multiple people are coming to the same conclusion, then usually there might be a reason for that. So, you know, why not give it a shot? As this is the pilot episode, I'm just going to give a general overview of what you can expect from this series without really going into any particular subject at this time, because I just want to lay the groundwork for right now. They say our minds are just composites of everything we've ever picked up in our lives. So in that case, I'd like to share my ideology regarding gaming and what I believe it should be. And I hope that it sounds nice enough to all y'all that you start pitching in and helping to make it a reality. When I picture the future of gaming, I picture something that looks a smidge like Oz from Summer Wars. Like a virtual reality paradise, where kids of all ages can log in and just be their ideal selves for a wee moment. In childhood, we conceptualize our own dreams for the future, and in our minds we can make it as perfect, as simple, as invigorating as humanly possible. A world that's filled with smiles and thrills. But then reality enters, and sometimes dreams must compromise or change. And we can't always give 100%. Our lives are full of compromises, extenuating circumstances, and things that we can't even plan for. And for those of us who haven't given up the fight to be a good person, you know, that comes with its own extra little trials and such. Plus, until the day comes where we finally figure out resource management well enough to provide for all, and then build robots, note the order, by the way, don't build the robots first, because then you're going to take people's jobs. Anyway, society will always need those jobs that are less than glamorous. So, incidentally, by the way, you be nice to those people. You be freaking nice to those people. They're working hard to deal with a lot of... Just so that the majority of us don't have to deal with a lot of nasty things. But you know what? A mind can't just settle. Can't just resign itself to that's just the way it is without losing out on an integral, cheery part of the human spirit. One should never ignore reality or their responsibilities or we're never going to figure out what it's all about or how to shape reality to our ideals. But you can't lose that. You can't lose the little inner child. Because that is how dreams become reality. So imagine if, just for a few moments out of the day, you got to experience that initial dream you had as a kid. Exactly the way that you envisioned it. Imagine if you had your own pocket dimension, just kind of sitting in your room. And you're not trying to escape, you just want a break, right? So when things get rough, you go there for a moment, and suddenly, BAM! You're you! Not the you that you've had to become, but the you that you always wished you could be. Have you ever wanted to be a superhero? Now you are. Have you ever wanted to be... to belong to something? Something that won't become twisted by ambition, greed, or misunderstanding? Well, now you can. Heck, maybe you've wanted to try being a villain for a day. Just, just once, just once to see how it's like. Hey, 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 don't be a prude. We've all imagined the Dark Lord cape once in our lives. Yeah, well, go for it, brah. You'll still be you at the end of the day. <laughs> you can play sports with your friends without ever, ever getting winded or seriously hurt. You can wander in and just start, like, Matrix flipping all over the place if you want to, and you, your body never gives out on you. You can, just, you can just fly all over the place. You can demolish buildings with your fists just for being in your way at the moment. <laughs> you can orchestrate random, hilarious chaos in a world where it's actually 
consequence free. You can duel with everything from lightsabers to friggin' chainsaw scissors to bazookas to obscenely powerful eldritch spells that could just unravel the universe if you use it wrong for one careless instant and you just toss it around for shits and giggles. Cause it never gets too serious. Because in that world, death is just waiting to respawn. <laughs> Or hell, maybe you don't feel like being uber badass McGee that day, so you just hop your jet board and find the nearest pool table or something. And there's always one available. In a word, freedom, power, and best of all, you get to share those moments with your buds, with your besties. Either you show off your own badass prowess, or you watch Slackjawed in awe as your buds go full-blown DBZ meets the Avengers all over the place, all chatting nicely about their favorite music, or restaurants, or that funny thing that happened on the way to work. <laughs> like, you just get to do whatever. No one yelling at you, except for the occasional irate teammate. No compromising with a finite bodily energy supply or cramped schedule. No wistful longing for fantasies that will only ever exist in a dream, because it's all right there at your fingertips to my mind every game that exists today is a tiny sliver of that reality a taste of what's to come but we're not going to get there easily if we ever hope to see this in our lifetimes there's got to be dedicated groups of people constantly making improvements with what they learn from games as we go along. And in order for that to happen, games have to seem like a worthwhile endeavor for people to want to get into, to dedicate themselves to. And in order for that to happen, more people should feel like that they can get into gaming, even. That they can even broach that first barrier. And in order for that to happen, we, all of us, players, reviewers, devel developers, everyone attached to this hobby. We all have to elicit that same kind of joyous atmosphere. To put it simply, be nice. Be as nice as you can to each other. Just as nice as you possibly can be. Be as nice to new players who are entering this world timidly, uncertainly. Show them a warm and welcoming hand. Doing something grand with this medium can only happen with the right people and the right skills. So, really, all the rest of us can hope to do is just to not mess it up. Valhalla isn't something that's going to happen one day. You've got to live, breathe, and give Valhalla every chance you get. You've got to fill yourself up with the idea and never let it drag through the mires of despair or meanness. You do not make yourself strong by bringing others down. You do it by building up those around you. If we're lucky, if we ever hope to see it in our lifetimes, we've got to bring it into being on the sheer power of our love and our faith in ourselves and in each other. <clears throat> So, in truth, this vlog is more amateur philosophy than anything. My own take on current trends, and maybe what we could do better, in the spirit of that warm, zany, nice atmosphere that I always caught glimmers of when I was playing around the console with my brothers and my friends. And I hope that you will join me in making that happen. So, thank you all for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And remember, you all have the potential to get good!